aka Nikki Vegan and I'm making this video because I recently posted a picture on my Instagram of a bowl of oatmeal that I made and I made it kind of different than normal and I said that making it this way has helped my digestion so much and I asked you guys if you'd want to see a whole video about what I have done to help reduce bloating and help increase regularity now that I'm vegan and it seemed like a lot of you guys were interested so it seems like maybe a lot of you guys can relate to that obviously I'm not a doctor so if you're having really bad stomach aches like please go to the doctor and get that checked out because I want you guys to be healthy but I'm gonna just share some things that have worked for me and hopefully they will help you guys reduce your belly bloating and increase your regularity so some people are kind of surprised to find out that even though I'm vegan, I don't really eat a ton of raw fruits and vegetables. And that's because my body personally doesn't respond well to them. So for example, I can't really eat raw apples, raw carrots, raw broccoli, raw kale, really any of that stuff isn't great for my digestion. It almost immediately causes bloating and I sometimes have a hard time with constipation if I eat those kinds of foods. I find that if I steam broccoli, it's so much easier and I'm still getting lots of nutrients, but the water and the cooking process kind of helps pre-break down the food so my body doesn't have to work so hard. So instead of eating raw apples, I just cook them and I put them in my oatmeal or you know, I make like a crumble out of them or something like that with granola on top and that way they're just a lot easier to digest. And you know, I steam kale and I steam spinach and those types of things and I find that it's so much better for my body. So you can still eat all those wonderful fruits and vegetables, you just don't necessarily have to eat them raw because even though they are at their peak highest nutrients when they're raw, if your body's not digesting them properly, they're not healthy for you. Other things that I've changed in my life include switching from old fashioned oats to the quick cooking oats. And I'm a big believer in foods and their whole unprocessed form and I think that the less processed the better but in the case of quick cooking oats I find that my body digests them so much easier and really they're just pre-steamed and they're cut into small pieces it's not that processed and so it's something I'm okay with I don't do the kind that has the sugar and the flavorings and all that kind of stuff I just get the regular quick cooking oats and I cook them on the stove the same way that I would cook old-fashioned oats so I'm still cooking them for a little bit longer than it says and I find that that really helps soften them and helps my body digest them really well. Another thing is I will also sometimes make overnight oats, but I like them warm so I'll reheat them. But there's something about soaking the oats that really helps your body digest them too. So if you find that you have a hard time digesting oatmeal, try quick cooking oats and or overnight oats. Another thing that also surprises people is I've drastically decreased my leafy green consumption. Hold, I know, I know, hold on, just let me explain. If you guys have watched my What I Eat Today videos, you know that when I work, which is four to six days a week, I have to pack a lunch and also sometimes a dinner. And so what I was doing most days was I was making like a big salad with some kind of starch, potatoes, grains, whatever, beans and other veggies, basically making Buddha bowls, but like most of them were mixed greens. So I was putting like two, sometimes three cups of mixed greens in these big Tupperwares with my salads and I was having that twice a day, which means I was eating anywhere from like three to six cups of mixed greens a day. And I just found that that was too much for my body. I think it's better to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables instead of just all one of one thing, especially leafy greens because they require a lot of water to digest. And if you eat a ton of them, your my mom kind of described it as like, I was almost creating like a haystack in my intestines because it was just like, nothing was passing through and I was having such a hard time with constipation and I couldn't figure it out because I was like, I'm eating fruits and vegetables, why am I feeling bloated? But 
I reduced the number, like now I eat like a cup of mixed greens and I'll do other green vegetables. Like I'll do, um, you know, steamed broccoli and I'll do uh, steamed zucchini and I'll have beans and rice and, and that has helped me so much. So I'm still getting tons of nutrients and veggies, but it's not all coming from one place and I find that that helps a lot. And I have replaced my mixed greens, like I'll have a little bit of mixed greens, but now I'll do something that has a little bit more water, like romaine. I love romaine and I find that all fruits and vegetables that have a high water content are a lot easier for me to digest. So I, if I'm gonna eat raw veggies, I tend to stick to the ones that have a high water content and that makes my body feel really good. So if you eat an exorbitant amount of mixed greens like I used to do, try limiting it just a little bit and try switching it out for other vegetables and see if that doesn't make a big difference for you. Vegan diets are naturally higher in fiber than most diets, especially the standard American diet, and that requires a lot more water to flush through your system. So what I like to do is drink about a cup or two of water an hour or 30 minutes before a meal and give it some time to digest, and that way my body is super hydrated, so by the time I'm ready for food, my body can very easily digest whatever it is that I'm putting into it. And I actually like to make sure that I don't drink too much water while I eat because that actually sometimes causes indigestion for me. Obviously I have a few sips of water if I'm thirsty during the meal. I don't believe in like weird rules where you can't have water or you have to have this much water or whatever. I just think that if I have the bulk of my water in between meals and especially before my meals, my body digests so much better. And listen, I love those things. I am so happy that they exist because I can get anything that I want to have in a vegan version and I don't have to hurt animals and I don't have to put horrible things into my body and that makes me so happy. I just find that they're generally a lot higher in salt and also fat than I generally eat. I like to eat like a whole food plant-based diet, like food in its whole form and that is what makes my body feel the best and what helps my digestion and gives me the least amount of bloating. So I find that when I eat a lot of fake meats that I do have a lot more bloating. So if you guys are eating them a couple of times a week or even a couple of times a day, you might wanna reduce it a little bit and switch it out for a whole food plant-based diet and see if that doesn't make a huge difference with your bloating and digestion, because I think it will. Another one that people don't like to talk about but makes a huge difference, and personally I can attest to this, is going to the bathroom when you need to go to the bathroom. And that might seem like common sense, but that's not always a convenient thing to do. Especially like I'm a cocktail waitress and I work anywhere between six to nine hour shifts at a time, and I have tables and stuff the whole time. I have people that need things and I don't really have time to like stop and like go to the bathroom and even when I do it's like not really an ideal situation because I'm at work I'm at a small bathroom and I feel like I'm rushed and it's just not ideal so what I was doing for a while without even realizing it was my body was sending me an urge to go to the bathroom and I wasn't going to the bathroom and I wasn't passing gas when I needed to and those things are natural you have to let them out or you'll end up just holding them in and that causes extreme constipation and you really only have to do that once or twice to cause a many many days of bad digestion lots of bloating lots of irregularity and it's just so uncomfortable so what I've decided to do what I've kind of committed to do is to understand that my body sends me cues and I am the keeper of my body it is my responsibility to listen to my body's cues and to honor that and to try to do what it's telling me to do. Just like I would sleep if I was tired and I would drink water if I was thirsty. If I need to go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom if possible and I just try to not overthink it too much. Another trick that I have that is super awkward and kind of maybe gross, but it helps is if I'm at work or any uncomfortable situation and I feel that I need to go to the bathroom but I'm just too like in my head about it, I'll either bring something in there to read, like I'll read something on my phone or something like that, or I'll flip through pictures on my phone. It makes such a big difference because you kind of are taking your mind off of what you're doing and it helps you relax so you can go to the bathroom because a lot of times if you're feeling rushed, like okay, this is my time, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and nothing happens because you're too freaked out. You need to figure out what you can do to relax yourself enough to go to the bathroom because it's so important, especially in terms of reducing bloating and indigestion. 
something that people kind of roll their eyes about when they hear, but it makes a huge difference is getting enough sleep, getting enough exercise and water, but not forcing yourself to drink water. Sleep makes such a big difference with so many things in your body, but the biggest one for me is regularity and bloating. So if I only get like four to five hours of sleep, I cannot go to the bathroom when I wake up in the morning. Sometimes it doesn't happen until way later in the day, and sometimes it doesn't happen at all, which causes a lot of discomfort when I have meals throughout the day because I feel like just nothing is passing through me, and then I have this huge stomach that's super bloated and crampy and uncomfortable, and it's very uncomfortable. So what I like to do is try to make sure that I get seven to eight hours of sleep. And usually at that point I wake up and I have to go to the bathroom right away. And I go to the bathroom and I feel great afterwards. And that is literally the number one reason why I focus on sleep because I want to make sure that my body is regular because it affects everything in my life. Like I just am so much more comfortable when I have less bloating and I'm more regular. So getting enough sleep is key. Another one is exercise and especially aerobic exercise where you're getting your, um, heart rate up and you're sweating because that's really, really good for circulation. And that makes a huge difference with regularity as well. And that also helps with bloating. So what I like to do is try to make sure that I get 20 to 30 minutes of really brisk walking around my block. Like today I didn't have time to work out and go to the grocery store, but I needed to do both. So what I did was I walked to the grocery store really fast. It was a mile away. And then I went there and then I carried the bags back and I kind of like trying to lift them. I looked super weird walking down the street but it worked for me. I got my exercise in. I also got my errands done and I felt so much better. I just find that a little bit of cardio and really being active really helps with digestion and minimizing belly bloating. So another thing that people don't really tell you is that you shouldn't force yourself to drink too much water. So obviously drinking enough water and drinking it with a good amount of time before your meals is important. But if you're trying to force yourself to drink a ton of water, like there was this thing going around for a long time where it was like you had to drink a liter of water before breakfast. If you're forcing yourself to do that and that doesn't feel right to your body, you're harming your body. Just like it's wrong to force your body to eat raw vegetables, even though it doesn't like eating raw vegetables, you shouldn't force yourself to drink water even though it's telling you you've had enough. It really is a sweet spot and it really just comes with like listening to what your body wants and trying not to overthink things too much. A few things I want to quickly add. The first is that eating a vegan diet is high fiber and high fiber creates a little bit of gas and expansion in the body naturally and that's actually totally okay. I spoke with a family friend who is a gastroenterologist and he told me that fiber just creates a little bit more gas and kind of pushes your stomach out a little bit and that there's nothing dangerous about that and eating a vegan diet is actually incredibly healthy as you guys probably already know. So don't be afraid if your belly is kind of full or you have a food baby afterwards that's totally natural and it really is a blessing to be able to feed yourself such healthy delicious food so don't worry and just know that the bloating will go away once you digest and the only real problem is if you're having trouble going to the bathroom regularly or if it's causing like painful discomfort I also quickly want to clarify that I do still eat leafy greens and vegetables of all kind I've just found the ones that my body prefers to have cooked and the ones that I can have raw and the ones that I can have raw are generally foods that have higher water like romaine lettuce and like grapes and those types of fruits and vegetables and I find that that's what works best for me. This is in no way to say that you can't have those foods or that this is the only way to beat bloating. I'm just saying that tuning into my body has really made a huge difference for me and I think that if you kind of follow this strategy of tuning in and listening to what your body wants and making changes accordingly, you will have a lot less bloating and a lot better digestion as well. Lastly, most of the meal pictures that you saw in this video were from my Instagram and I post a ton of pictures of foods that I'm eating or recipes that I come up with and I also do like Instagram stories of just things I'm making in the moment just really quick kind of what I ate today's or really quick little recipes so definitely check that out if you're interested or just need some healthy eating inspiration. So hopefully these tips will work for you. And if you have any tips that help you and your digestion, let me know in the comments because I'm always trying to learn how to take better care of myself and I would love to know what kind of things work for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.